Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pensy if you're new, and if you are not, hey guys, welcome back. <sighs> Your girl is officially tired, okay? Guys, I am so exhausted. First of all, first of all, let's get to it. Your girl is in Paris, Paris, okay? I am in Paris, just made it. I've been up since yesterday, since 5 a.m., and I have not slept yet. Oh my gosh, I'm exhausted. Um, I'm currently here at a hotel that's um, at the airport because my Airbnb is not ready for check-in yet, and they don't have an early check-in. So I'm exhausted, so I need to like sleep for a few hours, eat, take a shower because I feel filthy. My eyes, you can, I'm, yeah, I'm just exhausted. So yeah, but this room is pretty cute. Um, so I'm just going to give you a view. I can't figure out the lights, so I'm just, I have the curtains open for now. But this is the room. It's pretty cute. has this little, like, office study area going on. The bed, which is, I think this is a queen size. Um, love the artwork. Um, if I remember, I'll vlog downstairs, like the lobby area. It's pretty cool. Uh, there's a TV. Uh full length mirror this was my travel and fit and then the bathroom is in here pretty tiny um, but it has everything you need so there's a shower sink toilet yeah and pretty cool one straight to the point and then this is the view that I have right now so guys, remember, so I'm still here at the airport, and I think some of the trains and stuff run here as well. Uh, yeah. But I am about to just wash up, take a shower, refresh, take a nap, and then munch on this um, sub that I bought earlier. So I'm going to finish that up, and then, yeah, I'll, guys, I'm in Paris. First, I almost forgot. It's my freaking birthday. Today is my birthday. I'm gonna tell you guys the story of what it took for me to get here, but not right now because I'm exhausted. But your girl made it. I'm traveling on my birthday, unfortunately. That was not the plan, but it is what it is. But I'm here and I'm ready to have a great time. Per usual, your girl is traveling solo. You know how I do. But yeah, so I'll see you guys a little bit later. Bye. Alrighty guys, so I just got here to my Airbnb. I am gonna attempt to wind down, figure out how I'm gonna tug this suitcase down the stairs. I don't think that's a good idea. Darn. So I might just have to come upstairs, grab some things, and then dress downstairs. Because yeah, my suitcase is pretty heavy and that's not safe because yeah. This is not how we're going to start our trip here in Paris. <laughs> but I'm so excited to be in Petty. Oh. Wait, I'm trying to prop you guys up. I'm trying to prop you guys up somewhere. Oh. Oh God. It took a lot to be here in Paris. Do you hear me? Like... You guys ready for story time? Like it took a lot just to get here. Oh my goodness. I'm still like not even, it's my birthday. I'm in Paris. I'm still not feeling, I'm just tired. <laughs> and I got this huge ass zit that wanted to pay me a visit for my birthday. Why? Why? I don't normally get pimples and breakouts and you want to break out. Whatever, whatever. But guys, so. I thought I booked my trip for the 17 beginning, but it turned out I booked my trip for the 16. Yeah, so I missed my flight on the 16 because I thought it was the 17. Then I um, contacted, you know, American Airlines and over the phone, they're like, no. You know, the, the ticket you booked, it's basic, um, so there's no changes. So basically, you lost your ticket. I'm like, are you kidding me? So 
So my daughter, I actually booked her a trip for the 17th because that's the day I thought I was traveling out. So I had to drop her off at the airport being I was gonna be out of town. So she's gonna see family. So I'm like, okay, I'm here at the airport. Let me just see what ticket I can find that can get me to Paris, you know, from whatever airline. Tickets were high, like crazy insane. So I was like, let me just stop at the American airline counter and just see, you know, tell them what happened and see what they can do. So I got there, no expectations. Got there, I was like, oh, I thought my flight was for today, but it's showing it was for the 16 and I missed my flight. And the gentleman there was able to, so, so nice at the time. <laughs> but it's on me, guys, it's on me. But he's like, he's gonna go ahead and just do a swap from the 16 to the 17 and book my flight for that day. Mind you, I did not bring my luggage. I did not bring my passport. I was only dropping my daughter off at the airport. And I was like, let me just see if I can get me a new ticket to purchase to go to Paris. He was like, do you have your passport with you? Good. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's at the day of the house. So I acted like, oh, it's inside the car. I lied, I was like, no, it's inside the car. My luggage is inside the car. Cause I'm in my mind, I'm thinking I can make this flight. If he thinks I have my stuff in the car, he can go ahead and just swap this. I'll go run home, come back to the airport. Yeah, wrong idea. So I got in the car, I'm driving on the freeway, get to my house, took me about 25, 30 minutes, freaking traffic. Got in the house, I already had my stuff packed, put my suitcase, Grab my passport, call for um, a lift. That took another 30 minutes and change to get there. Guys, tell me why I missed my freaking flight by this much time. This much time, I missed the flight. So I missed the flight on the 16, I missed the flight on the 17. Now they're like, okay, no, unfortunately we tried, you know, we honored, which we don't normally do, so you're gonna have to pay out of pocket. So I had to pay buku amount of money out of pocket to get me to fucking Paris on the 18, which will then be I'll be leaving on the 18 and getting into Paris on the 19, which is my birthday. And yeah, so I made it on my birthday. I don't like to travel on my birthday, but I know where I'm blessed to be able to have purchased, been able to purchase the ticket and made it to Paris. We're gonna have a great time. Riot gear. Riot fucking gear. Where are they? What the hell? They got smoke and shit. <laughs> Happy birthday. Hey guys, good morning. It is my second day here in Paris. So I am about to head out. This is the OOTD for today or for these next few hours. Um, cute. It's giving me Parisian vibes. <laughs> it's giving me petty. So yeah, so I love this little thing that I, um, it's like a little purse or wallet that I got off of Amazon because you know you guys do your research especially traveling solo but it's like a lot of pickpocketers um here supposedly so yeah so I have this and then I'm gonna put my coat over um just as a safety precaution I really want to bring my tripod so I'm trying to figure out if I also want to bring if I also want to bring my Ted Baker oh my gosh this is like my personal uh travel bag and put my tripod in. Ha, oh, fuck. This is the only thing that sucks about traveling solo is who the F is gonna take your pictures. So I always carry my tripod with me, but it's just a pain in the ass to lug it around because normally I wear like smaller purses or smaller wallets. So right now I'm gonna try to find somewhere around here nearby that has breakfast. And then I'm gonna come back and then call for my Uber or take me to the Louvre. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna be the plan for right now. So I'll see you in a bit. Bye.
just sat down. Um, I had to wait a little bit. I'm currently at Le Cafe Marley and it is freezing out here. Uh, there's no heaters. So yeah, I need a blanket, which they're gonna bring me one really soon, but it's so beautiful. Avocado salad. Looks like it has some couscous, some tomatoes, radish, spinach. And then I had to return my coffee because I thought I ordered a chai latte, but apparently it was just some milk. I'm like, no, I need some coffee with some milk. So yeah, I'm waiting for that right now.
So it's like a small little cafe within the loop. I got this for now and some tea. And I'm not sure what else I want to get. <laughs> I'm thinking about the club sandwich or possibly the egg benedict. So I'm down to 10%. So yeah, it is time to exit. So okay, up this way. So I'm currently trying to find the exit to leave. On the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You can be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. And another woman that can take your spot, my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. And another woman that can take your spot, my love. I can see us on the 
with your side, sitting on the grass side by side. You could be my baby, wanna make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love, my love. Ain't another woman that can take your spot, my love, my love, my love. Ain't another woman that can take your spot, my love. I go, I said I'm gonna move there, but this would be some, this would be somewhere I would move to. Guys, so I just got dropped off here at the Eiffel Tower, and oh my gosh, I came during the day because I want to see you during the day and at night. So this is it during the day. Are you guys ready? So there is the Eiffel Tower. Oh my goodness. It's ginormous. So I'm gonna walk over and find something to eat because I'm actually starving. I haven't eaten anything. But there it goes. Cannot believe I am in Perry and I'm looking at the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> I am such a freaking tourist. <laughs> like, wow, I feel so blessed to be here and to think that I almost did not make it and I was gonna be okay with that and just be like, you know, it is what it is. But, oh my goodness, I'm so glad I came down. So glad. out where to go do I gotta go in here to enter the Eiffel Tower no oh <laughs> that's the easy thing <laughs> ah, I dropped my gloves and someone was kind of to show me that I dropped my gloves but yeah this is Paris. I don't know, guys. 
So I just got my food. I don't know about this chicken though, but this looks like they just boiled it and added some sauce on it. But yeah, my hot chocolate. Yeah, pray for me. All right, guys, so I just left the restaurant over there. And it is a rainy day, and it's gonna be actually a rainy week while I'm here in Paris, which sucks ass, because I gotta worry about not getting my hair wet. Oh, but besides that, it's beautiful. I'm stuffed, so I'm gonna head back now to the um, Eiffel Tower. I officially made it here to the Eiffel Tower. At night. of the Eiffel Tower someone just told me <laughs> but look how beautiful that looks like oh my gosh breath take it it is freezing out here guys so I am about to take my ass home Cute, merci. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> merci. This is cute. <laughs> I have a mustache. Call it. <laughs> And I was like, I did it now. Then it's just, I wonder your solo, and it's mm -hmm. a nice time to reflect, yeah. you know, on your life. And yeah, where you're it's really at. time for yourself. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I was That's seeing my love. therapist, so actually, mm -hmm. I might skip some appointments because, <laughs> guess what? I'm doing travel therapy. And she was like, I love you giving yourself some time. People friend. <laughs> what do you love for? for? Ah, let's see. <laughs> Ooh, this looks so good. Oops. I think we got both got the same, so it's a banana, whipped cream, chocolate. It's not the coconut one. No. <laughs> Next time. And then my hot chocolate. 
But guys, it's so beautiful. It's currently sparkling. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. I feel like I have not been checking in um, throughout the vlog. I've just been kind of like just filming what I'm doing here and there. But hey guys, your girl is still in Paris. I'm having an amazing time in Paris. <laughs> uh, Today is my last full day here in Paris. And then I'm supposed to check out the Airbnb tomorrow. And I'm planning on heading over to London tomorrow for about two days or so. And then from London, the plan is to go to Amsterdam. But I'm still torn if I want to do Amsterdam for like two days and then find my way somehow to Rome and then from Rome make my way back over to Paris because I am leaving from Paris to go back home. So yeah, so it's technically my last full day. I will be back in Paris uh, before I leave. Yeah, so today I don't know what the heck I'm doing to be honest. Um, I just got dressed for the day. Um, I do want to walk a few blocks because um, there is some um, known like architecture and sightseeing. I think it's like an opera house and like this cute little village town that's also famous. So maybe just walk around and check out the cafes. That's honestly what I've been doing here is just checking out their cafes and eating. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll take you guys with me. I do want to head tonight actually to like the night view of the Arc, Arc de Triomphe. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and then the, also the Champ LSA or Champ LSA something along those lines um, this evening. So we'll, we'll see. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys. This is my outfit. Excuse this bathroom. It's quite messy. But this is the outfit for today. Comfortable. And then I did bring my heels because I do plan on taking some photos, hopefully. And also, by the way, I'm so upset about how my photos came out by the Eiffel Tower last night. Terrible, terrible, like you have to pay for a darn photographer to come and take some good ass photos because those photos came out terrible. So I was thinking about getting like hiring a photographer to take some pictures, but I think for that, like I want like a big extravagant dress. So I do plan on coming back to Paris and then when I do, that's when I'll go ahead and just take those photos, but bummer. But anyways, yeah, let me head out and this music from the backdrop, I know it's going to copyright me. So I'll see you guys a little bit later. Walking in the streets at Paris. Oh, goodness. So I'm headed to the Notre Dame, but I need to eat something first because it is currently 1237 and I haven't eaten anything yet. So that is the plan. And I think I'm going to head back to the restaurant that I was at yesterday, Cafe Ventura, because why not? It's my name. <laughs> So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. See you in a bit. I just found this cute little area where I'm gonna go ahead, sit down and have some coffee and eat my croissants, but it's so beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful and windy actually. I don't know where I can prop you guys up. I had indulged this with four or five packets of sugar because the French do like their coffee black. I mean, and black with no sweetness. I need some sweetness in my coffee. Oh my God, that's the kitchen. Hoping it doesn't attack me. Thank you. 
guys so this is the Notre Dame as you can tell they're working on it to rebuild it because remember a few years ago it caught on fire so this is it so I'm a little bummed that the Notre Dame is sort of uh, damaged it's not really not much but I've been meeting some amazing people I just was taking some photos by myself and this group decided <laughs> was basically rooting your girl on for her photos uh, exchanged Instagram info but yeah traveling solo is not bad like people make it seem worse than what it really is I love it it's quite free in but it's just so beautiful Paris is just so beautiful I can't say again how blessed I am how grateful I am to be able to take this trip but it's not it's not cheap okay I'll tell you that shit right now Paris is expensive travel in general is expensive but to Europe and this is only my first stop. So, yeah, your girl will be out to be working some, I don't know, hustle a little bit. But it's just so beautiful. I'm just so happy. So, so, so happy. Like, I really wanna like, when my daughter, she's about to be 18, going off to college, hopefully. Or just, you know, pursuing her passion, but I will be an empty nester soon enough. And I really, really am thinking about just traveling the world working from home or working abroad and just traveling so so free and so Notre Dame and I believe this is as close as you can get to the Notre Dame That's a cute view. I'm gonna order possibly a sandwich and maybe a soup. And then yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers guys. All right guys. Guys, I've been eating steak here because the chicken my has not been hitting. So steak it is. Of 
tours of tours. Everyone is trying to get their shot in. Ah, next time I'm in Paris, I'm definitely going to pay for a photographer and hit up all the spots and be all extra with my outfit. But for now, you guys are going to get outfit tours, outfits, and pictures. I just canceled my hotel to that's in London because I think I'm gonna go ahead and head over to Italy don't quote me on that that's the plan for right now we'll see if anything changes but you guys <sighs> I don't want to leave like it's so beautiful so far everyone's been amazing I've had an awesome time everyone's treated me quite well and yes, yeah, definitely experience, definitely a vibe. I would love to visit Paris in the warmer months just to, you know, feel out that vibe as well. And of course, I do want to head to like Nice in the summertime, which is like near like the coastal area. But yeah, I'm going to flip the camera around. been here um, at the train station I was trying to get me a train to Amsterdam early but they were all sold out so now I have to wait for the 725 p.m. train to get to Amsterdam so I'm gonna probably just leave my luggage somewhere and then head down out and about and see what I can do just to kill time and then get back here but your girls going to Amsterdam that's the next stop see ya Lock, 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 lock. Guys, so I just got here. I forgot what this is called, but it's a beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. I think it's a church. Such a beautiful view. So I'm gonna walk around, but I do need to get something to eat because I am starving. So I'm gonna find somewhere to eat first and then come back and take a look at this building. Scrambled eggs, two fried eggs. One hot drink. So two toasts. I don't know what this is. Hmm. This salad looks so delicious. Guys, this place is amazing. Beautiful. Guys, when I say Paris is gorgeous, like just the architecture, the buildings, the history, lots of good and bad history.
Guys, I'm not Catholic, but I'm more of like look at like the architecture and just the history of things. But yeah, very, very meticulous. Like the artwork, the pieces are beautiful just to look at, you know what I mean? But I am about to head back out. I want to walk around the block. You mentioned that they do like painting over that way, and then from there, I'm gonna head to the train station. So, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. Gorgeous! I can't wait to get to Amsterdam though. <laughs> I'm tired. I will be back to Paris before I leave. I plan to spend another day before I leave, so like the 29th, and then my flight leaves on the 30th. But the plan is to go to Amsterdam. London, Italy. I'm gonna plan that for another time, like a summer trip, and do like a week in Italy because there's so much to see. And I actually want to come when it's nice and warm. I can wear my, get my outfits together. So I did Perry in the cold, and I would do Italy in the warmer months. Amazing. Guys, this is definitely a vibe. Oh, this is where they have their artwork. That's so pretty. Hey. Hello. Bonjour. <laughs> Beautiful. Hmm. 
<laughs> That's so cute. Oh, I need that. Guys, I am booking the next trip out for next year already. <laughs> Like, there's just so much to see and just so little time, unfortunately. Definitely be back to Europe, for sure. But I'm in the end of a street here, and then. It's a cute little shop. Sandwich, ice cream. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Chocolate on top of coconut. Mmm. Sounds delish. <laughs> So I currently have this little coffee shop or a little shop. It's not a coffee shop, my bad. I'm gonna grab me some ice cream. I think I'm getting some macaroons. They look so delish. But I'm honestly stuffed because I just had lunch. Having me a coconut ice cream with some Nutella on top. I'm currently using my phone because I don't want to grab my camera. I already have it tucked away. But it's time to call a Luther and leave. I'm so, so sad. My ice cream cone. Sorry. I can't see. There you go. <laughs> I thought you had the... Why is this not focused on... <laughs> I wanna take you to Paris. 
to spoil you I wanna go to Marseille and enjoy you I want those guys in your DMs to talk to themselves And then tell all their friends that they know you I wanna make you forget about your ex I want you overthinking all your texts